for his questions. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, for, uh, for having this meeting. I mean, really, thank you. This is so fun. This is, this is catnip to aviation enthusiasts. Uh, so like many of us, you know, I've spent hours poring over popular mechanics magazines, many of which were printed before anybody on the panel was born, pictures of flying cars and, you know, and looking at that stuff. Uh, so it's exciting to actually have a chance to, to look at this in a, I, 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 can I call this a professional manner? My, wi my wife and sons, uh, uh, we've, they fly. I, I'm not a pilot, but they all do. And, and we've flown into Oshkosh uh, for fun a number of times. Oshkosh started yesterday, by the way. If I was there right now, could I be shopping for flying cars? Panel, anybody know? Uh, Terrafugio has an exhibit there. I could be shopping for a flying car today if I was in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Let the record reflect that. That's just amazing. Uh, <clears throat> so cool. So I'm not going to ask any technical questions. I think you guys are smarter than me. You can solve all the FAA questions and the, and the, you know the hybrid and the and everything and the balance weight. I think you're going to have to have autonomous because let's face it, you know, flying planes is serious business. But um, um, what I want to know if from this very learned panel is uh, of all these examples of flying cars here, which one? or two do you want the most? And I just want you to go right down the panel. Tell me which one you think is the coolest stock. Start with you, Dr. Shin. As, as a government person, I should not. <laughs> See, everybody likes one. All right, what is it? <laughs> but uh, I, I, not generically, I, I like intermodal uh, convenient uh, way to do this. So uh, whatever the designs may be and whatever, whatever the companies may be, uh, it should be very seamless from my door at the home. And okay, so all the way, door to door. Okay, yeah. that's great. Sort of the Jetsons thing, all right? Did you like the Aston Martin version? That's pretty cool, huh? I, I'm a little bit of car nut, so that, that was really fancy. <laughs> they put on. Dr. Clark. <clears throat> so I have mixed minds here because as Ms. Dietrich would tell you, I, I used to teach her husband when he was an undergrad. And as uh, Dr. Allison would tell you, my, one of my um, PhD students is his lead analyst and optimizer and modeler. Uh, so uh, <laughs> I have interest in, in both um, solutions. Um, I got to tell you, um, Mr. Chairman I, I'm, and other members, I am a James Bond fan. Ah, of, I knew it. And I'm also a Jetsons fan. Um, I'm a, uh, so uh, I actually like the idea of being able to leave your house and, and basically be able to go from door to door. I mean, door to door. Door to door is the ultimate, right? That's what, that's what we care about. That's it. So, uh, well, uh, Mr. Allison, you care to respond? So we have, uh, we have five amazing vehicle partners with Uber Elevate, and I'm very excited to see all five of those, uh, those vehicles fly sometime soon. So, so uh, you don't have one that you would maybe want to tuck in the garage first? <laughs> I, uh, I, I'm very excited to see all of them fly, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, Mr. Thacker's uh, uh, vehicle from Bell will also be uh, one, of the, one of the great ones. So. Outstanding. <laughs> That's okay. I'm obviously biased towards the Bell solution, uh, and 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 I do I do believe that the Air Taxi uh, will will bring a, a sweeping change to how we move about cities, and I'm excited about that one because I think it will be here sooner than the door-to-door -door solution, and it's something that all of us will be able to take part in. So, uh, and if you'd like to experience that, we have a we have a virtual experience that I that I welcome any of you to come take when you get the chance. You will share the the information with the staff so they can get it to us. Absolutely. Thank you. So that would be very important. So please. Well, I uh, solve my dilemma. Pick I, one for me. I was me. one of the founders of Terrafugio specifically because I wanted a transition. So uh, fortunately, next year I should be able to get to uh, really uh, fly a transition again and, and use that vehicle a little bit. Um, it's not quite the urban air mobility that we're talking about, but to be able to fly and drive the same vehicle, I'm very excited about that. Building and flying uh, a vehicle that I helped create was one of my career goals. So I was. I agree. Excited. Okay, I have a very large district, um, and I think you've just solved one of the problems I have here. Now, which which one of these? should I choose to commute across a district that's 350 miles long? Eight hours of driving on the interstate, more if you take the back roads. Lots of back roads. Lots of farms. Well, I would recommend a TF2 for you. In that TM2, case. right yeah. just there. The 200 mile minimum range with uh, ground vehicle integration, so you'd be able to get the back roads and the uh, vertical flight component. What options should I order? We can talk about custom customization. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, let me say thank you again for having this, this meeting. It's, 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 it's been a 
one of the high points of my time in Congress. <laughs> I yield back. Thank you, Mr. Dunn. I 